Hello everyone, my name is Jelani and welcome to my channel that is dedicated to helping you improve and succeed at CXC Math. So, like I said in my last video, if you just happen to stumble across this video or you know you subscribe to my channel um, from before, um, first of all I'd just like to thank you for watching the video and also I'd like, you know, if you find the video helpful in any way. You know, consider giving it a, a like and if you're not subscribed already consider subscribing as it would help my page grow and it would also help you as well as you'll be able to easily find my videos and follow along with me as I do these different topics so in today's video we're looking at matrices still and we're looking deeper in this matrix multiplication and we're gonna look at an example so you've seen some questions up on the board here already and we're gonna look at how we multiply two matrices and here, well here we have three questions so let's just jump straight into it we have three questions on on the board here right two matrices matrix a matrix b but they want us to find a multiplied by b b multiplied by a which is gonna be a difference there is a difference and they want us to find a squared which is a really tricky question. So let's start with the first one, A multiplied by B. Now, first of all, if you didn't see my last video, I'll link it on top there. But the first thing we need to do when we multiply in these matrices, we need to write it out in the proper order that they, the question is asking for. So it's asking for A multiplied by B so we write a first, 3, 2, negative 1, 4, multiplied by b is negative 4, 1, 3, 0. And what we said is that the first thing you want to do is you want to write down the order of both matrices and we want to perform the compatibility test we want to see if these matrices are compatible for multiplication so what we do is we just draw a circle around these two numbers here which tells us that the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix so the whole point of drawing the circle if you find that explanation there a little bit too confusing we draw in the circle here like this and we want to make sure the numbers inside the circle are the same once they're the same that means they're compatible for multiplication and what we also learned at the end of la the last video was that the numbers on the outside they tell us the order of the solution. So the solution, when we do this multiplication here, these numbers on the outside are telling us that the solution is gonna be a two by two matrix. And that is really important, right? Because and we, we saw that in the last video, but we'll see it again here. So the, the solution, the order of the solution is gonna be a two by two matrix. So what I'll do, I'll just erase right here to make some space. So if you're taking notes, you know, pause the video before I erase it and copy it down. So I'm just going to erase here. So we can start working on the solution for the first question. Now we know that the answer is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So what we do is we want to just draw some boxes to show the 2x2 two two matrix. So we're going to have two rows and we're going to have two columns. Let me just make these boxes a little bigger since we're going to fill them with numbers. So let me make it like, yeah, like this, right? And that looks like a 2x2 two two matrix there. If you imagine numbers inside the boxes, it looks like a 2x2 two two matrix. 
And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill those boxes with numbers by doing our row by column multiplication. So what does that mean? Well, let's pay attention here and see. We're dealing with the first row of our answer. So we're multiplying with the first row of this matrix on the left side here. So we're taking the first row and multiplying it by the first column. And this is how the row by column multiplication works. We say 3 multiplied by negative 4 gives us negative 12. And we add that to 2 multiplied by 3 which gives us positive 6. So let me let me just erase this a little bit and make a, make it a little bigger so we could see it clearly. So 3 by negative 12, sorry, by negative 4 gives us negative 12 plus 2 by 3 gives us 6. Then, we, now that we've finished multiplying the first row by the first column, we're going to multiply the first row by the second column. So we're going to do it in this way now. We're going to say 3 multiplied by 1 gives us 3 plus 2 multiplied by 0. Well, that just gives us 0. And now that we finished with the first row of our answer, we want to move on to the second row of our answer. And that means we're going to be multiplying with the second row of the matrix on the left hand side here. So we're going to be saying the second row by the first column. So negative 1 multiplied by negative 4 gives us positive 4. And we're going to add that to 4 multiplied by 3, which gives us 12. And we finish multiplying those two, so we move on to the second row by the second column. So negative 1 multiplied by positive 1. Well, that just gives us back negative 1. And we add this to 4 multiplied by 0, which just gives us 0. And now we've completed all our matrix multiplication here. So all we need to do is add the numbers inside the boxes so we could simplify our answer. So we get here, we get our answer, negative 12 plus 6 gives us negative 6. 3 plus 0, well that's just 3. 4 plus 12 is 16. And negative 1 plus 0 gives us back negative 1. And there's our answer there for the first question. So now that we have that answer there, we can take it in for a little bit. Um, I'm going to erase that, that solution so we could move on to the second question. And we could see how the second question works. So again, if you're not ready for it, you could always pause the video, take in the question a little bit more, or if you have stuff to write down. Um, and if not, well, I'm going to erase now and we're going to start the second question. Right. So the second question, we're interested in finding B multiplied by A. So we change in the order. And that means it, it, it's interesting here because what happens is that the answer is not going to be the same. Right? It's going to be different. So what we're doing, we're writing B first. 
So B is negative 4, 1, 3, 0. And we multiply it by A, which is 3, 2, negative 1, and 4. Now I know we did this before and it's the, the two matrices have the same order but let's still do our compatibility test. So we write down the order of the matrix. We circle the inside numbers here to make sure they are the same which they are 2 and 2. And then the numbers on the outside these numbers tell us what the answer or the solution is gonna be so the solution for this one is gonna be a 2 by 2 matrix so now that we did our test and we know how the solution the order of the solution I'm gonna erase here again and we're gonna start with our answer so we know our solution is gonna be a 2 by 2 matrix And what we want to do is we want to create the boxes where we're going to fill our numbers in. And if you imagine numbers inside these boxes, it looks like a 2x2 two two matrix. And to do the multiplication, we're going to use the row by column method. So we're on the first row of the answer. So we're using the first row on the left hand side matrix. So we say in the row here, the first row here, by the first column here. And our matrix multiplication goes like this. Negative 4 multiplied by positive 3 gives us negative 12. And we add this to positive 1 multiplied by negative 1 which gives us negative 1 positive 1 by negative 1 gives us negative 1 and now we need to continue on we need to say now well we're finished with the first row by the first column let's do the first row by the second column now so we're doing here negative 4 by positive 2, which gives us negative 8 plus positive 1 by positive 4, giving us positive 4. And now that we're finished with the second row, with the, sorry, with the first row by the second column. We notice that we've finished with the first row of the answer. So we move on to the second row of the answer now. Which means that we're using the second row of the left hand matrix. So we're seeing here the second row multiplied by the first column. Well that would give us 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 plus 0 multiplied by negative 1 but that is just 0 then now that we're finished with the second row by the first column we're going on to the second row by the second column and what we say we say 3 multiplied by 2 gives us 6 plus 0 multiplied by 4 which is just 0 and now that we're finished doing all our matrix multiplication the next step is just to simplify the boxes to get our answer so negative 12 plus negative 1 that gives us negative 13 negative 8 plus 4 gives us negative 4 and then these last two we're adding 0 so nothing's gonna change we just get 9 and 6 and that's our answer there 
for the second question. So again, if you need to appreciate it a little bit more, you could pause the video, take it in. If you have to write down extra notes and so on, you could do all that. But in the meanwhile, I'll be going on to the last question, which is to find a squared. So let me start erasing here. Okay. So we want to find a squared next. And this is something that confuses a lot of students. But once we get past this one hurdle, everything is going to be exactly the same as before. If I were to ask you guys, what is 2 squared? Well, everybody knows 2 squared is just 4. But why is it 4? Well, it's 4 because 2 squared means 2 multiplied by 2. If I were doing 3 squared, it would be 3 multiplied by 3, which gives us 9. So for this matrix, this, this question here that asks to find a squared, a squared is just like how we have here. a squared is a multiplied by a. And that's the secret to answering this question. A lot of students usually get stumped here and wonder what to do, but that's the secret there. a squared is just a multiplied by a. So what we're doing is we're taking 3, 2, negative 1, 4, and we're multiplying it by the exact same thing. So now that we know how to deal with this a squared question, everything goes back to the exact same way we were doing before. We want to do our compatibility test. We circle the numbers on the inside and we verify that they are in the same numbers, meaning that they're compatible. And now that we do that, we know that the solution is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And once we finish with our compatibility test and we know the order of our solution, we just erase, I'll, I'll just erase here. If you write any notes, obviously you'd want to leave that. But now that we know the order of the solution, we want to create a big matrix where we're going to fill in all our information. And we know it's going to be a two by two matrix. So we do two rows. I'll make them a little bit bigger, the boxes. Two rows. By two columns. And it looks like a two by two matrix here. So let's get in our matrix multiplication where we do the row by column method so we say here because we want to work on the first row of the answer we're working on the first row of the left hand uh, matrix so we're saying the first row multiplied by the first column 3 multiplied by 3 gives us 9 plus we always add in 2 multiplied by negative 1 which gives us negative 2 now we're moving on to the first row by the second column so we have 3 multiplied by 2 giving us 6 and we add in this to 2 multiplied by 4, which gives us positive 8. And now that we've finished with the first row of the answer, we want to move on to the second row of the answer. So the second row, we 
because we're dealing with the second row of the answer, we want to deal with the second row of the matrix on the left. So we're saying the second row multiplied by the first column and we do our matrix multiplication. That is negative 1 multiplied by positive 3 giving us negative 3 plus 4 multiplied by negative 1 which gives us negative 4. Now that we finished with that first with that second row by first column, we want to move on to the second row by the second column. So negative 1 by positive 2 gives us negative 2 plus positive 4 by positive 4 giving us positive 16. And now we're finished with all our matrix multiplication. So it's just to simplify the boxes inside for us to get our answer. So 9 plus negative 2 gives us 7. 6 plus 8 gives us 14. Negative 3 plus negative 4 gives us negative 7. And negative 2 plus 16 gives us positive 14. And that is our answer there for the last question. And that closes off this video right here. So guys, I know that this video was pretty long. Um, I hope that you're able to follow, you know, it's okay if you have to take breaks in between, you know, you pause it, you go do something else, you come back to the video. But I hope that you're able to follow along these questions and that it was, it, it helped you to better understand how to do matrix multiplication and how to improve your game at matrices. Um, with that being said, I'll end up this video right here. Thanks again for watching. Please be sure if you want to follow me or subscribe depending on where you see the video. I have all my links below there. So you can find me on those other social media there. And just thanks again for watching. I appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.